Hi everyone, this is Miss Griffith. I am here for you today with a social emotional video. And in the video, I will be focusing on helping others. This worksheet says, helping others activity to the rescue. The directions read, this activity will help you think about how other people may be feeling. Look at the picture below and read what it says about what is happening. The red arrow lets you know which character to focus on. If you were right there in the room, what could you say to make the situation better? In this picture here, it looks like they are in a field or in an outdoor setting. There are, looks like some trees here. This banner says field day. Normally when schools have field days, it is a day full of outdoor sports activities. I also have two characters in the picture. This one is Nick. And this one is Brandon. By looking at the picture, the arrow is on Nick. So I'm going to be focusing on how Nick is feeling in this video or in this picture, excuse me. It says, Brandon won both games at field day. Nick said there's no way he could have beat him in both games. So Brandon must have cheated. Brandon, this character here, won two games at field day. Nick said that Brandon must have cheated. By looking at this picture and looking at the scenario, Nick might feel, I'm going to say that he feels upset. He lost two different games at field day and it seems to me that he is upset. Nick might feel upset because he lost two games. I can tell because in looking at this picture, Nick has his hands balled up into a fist. He also has a bad or negative expression on his face. Using his body language by looking at his balled up fist and his angry face, that's how I can tell that he is upset. I can tell because he has an angry face on. I could make the situation better if I said. So if I were out in the field with Nick and Brandon, what could I say to make the situation better and make it better for everyone involved? To review, 
Nick might feel upset because he had lost two games. I can tell because he has an angry face on. I could make the situation better if I said, Nick, you did an awesome job at the games. You will get him next time. Now we are going to do one more activity here. In this picture, there are three students or children sitting at a table. And then there's a student here that is looking at the table. The student's or child's name is Destiny. It says, it's Destiny's first day at Zoo U and she isn't sure who to sit with at the picnic tables. So it looks like it is Destiny's first day at maybe a summer camp or something like that. And she is looking at the picnic table because she is not sure who to sit with. Destiny might feel Destiny might feel nervous because she does not know where to sit. So she could be feeling nervous, wondering if the others will accept her and let her sit with her. Now I can tell that she might be feeling nervous or feeling something very similar because of her body language and her facial expression. So if I'm looking at Destiny, there is kind of a worried or nervous look to her face. She also is holding her arm, holding the arm together. I can use the fact that she has a worried face on, on and she's holding her arm to tell me that she's not really comfortable and she might be nervous. I can tell because I can tell because she has a nervous face on. A good thing for me to say might be, so if I was in this situation or if I was in this room, along with the three children and Destiny, what could I do? A good thing for me to say might be, Destiny, you are welcome to come sit with us. We would love it if you joined us. To review, we worked our way through two different situations. In looking at the pictures and the information we were given, we came up with how the character might feel, how we could tell that character was feeling that way, and then how we can make the situation better. Thanks for watching.